On Wednesday, November 5th, Uber had its quarter three earnings call. And today, we're going to discuss what that means for drivers and how you can start making money right now. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Tyler from The Rideshare Guy. Today, we're going to discuss what the Uber 3 quarter earnings means for us, where they're going, and how we can make more money. So let's get into a couple of the numbers. Uh, first is that their gross bookings declined by $14.7 billion, which is 10% year over year. Their mobility, uh, which includes the rideshare um, driving, decreased by 50%, where their delivery increased by 135%. So let's get into some of those details. So first, the mobility, what that actually means. So Yes, the rideshare driving, uh, picking up passengers is part of that, but they also have their scooters that they have, they have gotten into mass transit, they've gotten into um, taxi service, and so all of that is included in their mobility. Yes, the primary thing is the rideshare driving. And that is coming back in greatly. Um, it's not as good as it was last year, obviously, with the pandemic and everything going on, but the numbers are coming back. Not only that, people are using Uber over other ways to get around. So over mass transit, over taxi companies, they're using Uber first to get around. So what does that mean for drivers? Well, first, that's great for drivers because they can make money. They can get out there and start making money now where other things aren't. So that's number one. Number two is people are coming back and if they use Uber for work, so the regular commute hours, um, then they're also more likely to start using it on off hours. So what that means is the typical busy hours, everyone knows, is the commute hours in the morning, and then you have the night and weekend hours. Now, Uber reported that those numbers are starting to come back, especially in cities and towns and areas that have opened up from the pandemic. But those areas are, that time is slowly increasing. Now the time that has gone increased a lot is the off time. So those are people who instead of going to work, they're done work, now they're going to the grocery store or they're going to visit friends or whatever the case may be. But those times are actually starting to see an increase. So if you're trying to make some money, th that would be a good time to drive is during the off hours as well because they're seeing such an increase. In fact, Uber mentioned on the call that when cities open up, the lack is not in the passengers, but in the drivers coming back, that they, they don't have enough drivers for the demand. And to try to help with that, they've given incentives to a lot of the drivers. I, I look locally, we have, if you do so many dri rides, you can make X amount of dollars. Um, so check your app and see how much of an incentive they're willing to give you. And part of the reason they feel a lot of the passengers are coming back is because of all the work they've done in educating them, making sure that they know exactly how safe the technology is and instituting policies such as the no mask, no ride policy. So people aren't allowed to even get in the car unless they have a mask on. So it's safer for them. They know that they realize that. And that's why they're using Uber for drivers. That means more people are coming back. You can make more money. The second is delivery. Now, the first thing we think of when it comes to delivery is, of course, Uber Eats, which has gone through the roof. On the call, they mentioned that in France, their average delivery time is 28 minutes, so less than 30 minutes. People, especially with everything going on, expect things to be delivered to them within 30 minutes and to be delivered safely. Uber has stepped in to try to make sure this is possible and they were doing so before the pandemic they had this stuff in place um, and when asked what it was if it was foresight if it was luck they said maybe a little bit of both um, but uber nonetheless has stepped in with purchasing grocery deliveries now getting into pharmacy deliveries for drivers that means sign up sign up to deliver you can make quite a bit of money um, during the pandemic i've driven for uber eats quite a bit and made a lot of money because there's a lot more deliveries that are being requested as was mentioned at the beginning 135 percent more from the deliveries in fact the deliveries section of uber which has been unprofitable for quite some time now they mentioned several times they believe it'll be profitable sometime in 2021 which means that these numbers are not going to decrease 
So that means us drivers, we can get out there and use this to our benefit and we can make a lot of money. The third thing we're going to talk about is the freight department. Now this doesn't t really touch on drivers for the most part, but it was mentioned on the call. And the reason that it was interesting is that it was asked how the mobility department and the delivery department fits in with the freight. And they mentioned that freight is kind of in its own vacuum. However, they said that the technology and experience that they've used on the other sides of things have really helped them to grow the freight business into what it is now. So it's interesting to see how Uber uses the information that the experience, the technology they already have in place to diversify and expand the business. That means that this business is not going anywhere. They're going to continue to grow and roll more and more things out. Finally, it was Proposition 22 that was passed in California that was mentioned over and over again. The first thing that they said was that they were happy that the people listened to the drivers, that this is what the drivers wanted. They wanted to be able to continue to be uh, on-demand workers. They didn't want to be employees. They wanted to have the flexibility and they were happy. They said their first priority was going to be making sure that the drivers get the benefits that have been promised to them, that this proposition now bill, now law will allow them to get. Now, they did mention that this will be an increase in cost. They said that they think it will be about a 5% increase. Most of that will be passed on. Now, with it being passed on, that means that the passengers will have to pay a little bit more. Now, they did say that they don't feel that it will be a significant amount, that they'll see a decrease in the passengers or even the drivers that are coming back, the drivers making money. But they, they said it was their number one goal to make sure that that got done as quickly as possible. Now, the future of ride sharing, the future from this call, the quarter three earnings, you can see Uber was very convinced that they are gonna have a future after the pandemic. They saw when cities and areas opened up, the numbers for Uber went up. When the city closed down again, it went down again. So people immediately start using Uber. It's their first choice over everything else that's out there to come back. So Uber was confident in that coming back. And even if they have to endure for quite a while with less, they have over $7 billion on hand that they can have access to to keep things going and keep it rolling. So Uber is in great position. For us, that means that we can get out there, we can drive. Right now, they have incentives for drivers. So take advantage of the incentives to get out there and make some money. Know that more people are starting to use it and start driving for delivery, whether that's the Uber Eats, delivering for groceries, delivering pharmacy, alcohol, whatever the case may be. Try that out, see if you make more money. I know I did. I made a lot more money and drove a lot less doing Uber Eats during this pandemic than I did with passengers. So get out there try to find the best way that you can now thank you so much for listening if you like this video please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel we have a video come out every single week so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing thank you and be safe out there